Hi everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I have been getting this question a lot. Should I join ISA if I want to earn money early and to get a job right after my BSM? Like that is dual degree which is being provided by almost all the ISA BSM. Okay. So you guys have been asking me that should I go for ISA if I really want to earn money early right after BSMS? Okay. Or should I go for the engineering? Okay, so as a student at the ISS of Nepal with a three years of experience, I consider myself knowledgeable enough to address this question. So I will be addressing this question, your query, your doubt, you know, your all confusion about ISS and engineering colleges. Okay, you have now options, but the competition for the ISS is quite low compared for the engineering colleges. So people think, you know, let's go to this path. Okay. So let's go for the ISAs, and they also want to earn money early. Okay, as we see in the engineering, they get their job, their placements right after their degree. You know, we take them take. So this is you know genuine question, and you guys are confused about this question. So I thought I thought to clarify it. So let's get started. First of all. You know, at the very start of the video, I want to be clear. I want to tell this fact that ISAs are not designed. ISAs are not established for immediate jobs and placements after graduation. Okay, and I can make you feel. You know, I can make you understand this by the end of this video. So listen, patient. So ISAs are not at all made for the jobs and placements, but they are for research. Okay, so ISAs were established around two thousand five, two thousand six. You know, two thousand eight around. Okay, much later than the IITs and NITs, engineering colleges. Okay, they have been around for the much longer time. IITs have a strong industrial collaborations as well, and are known for providing a good placements, right, to the students. Okay, so we already had good placements. You know, institutions providing good placements. We already had a you know institutions which had you know. Industrial collaboration, good industrial collaboration. So why were ISAs created? Okay, when engineering colleges, IITs, NITs were already existed. Okay, so there is a difference of objective. Okay, the objective of ISA is to promote the basic science research. They aim to prepare the Indian students to be capable of contributing, you know, or conducting further research in basic sciences and contribute to the scientific knowledge base. And research is not just about making money. It's about your passion, your curiosity. If you're curious to find something, if you're curious to do something, if you're curious to you know learn basic science, you want to learn more about the basic science. If you are driven by the desire to explore and understand the fundamental aspects of the science, then ISAs are the place for you. Okay, so which is much different from the IITs, NITs, and the engineering college. So if we see the very key differences between both. IITs and NITs and the ISAs. So IITs and NITs are there for the engineering and the technological development in India. Okay, they offer the various courses in the engineering disciplines, preparing students for the careers as engineer. They are preparing engineer. In contrast, ISAs offer the courses in the basic science. You won't find courses like biotechnology, astrophysics here, because ISAs focus on developing a strong foundation in basic sciences. Okay. They are there to make scientists. They want fundamental research. Okay, in the basic sciences. The aim of the IITs and the NITs is to produce the engineers. Okay, while ISAs aim to produce the scientists. But remember, do you really think that if you if you will just do the BSMS, you will be the scientist? Okay, and you will get a good money and you will start enjoying your life. Becoming a scientist doesn't stop at the BSMS degree, which takes Just five years, okay. Just five years of your life, and you are scientist, okay? Not at all. So ISAs are just providing you the base. They are creating the base to pursue your further education, okay? In the research, you will likely need to pursue PhD and postdoctoral research, which means you need to be ready for the long academic journey. So if your goal is to earn money quickly, ISA might not be the right place for you. However, if you are passionate about the research, ISA welcomes you with open arms. Okay, so this is this is the very important thing. Understand this difference. Understand the difference between engineering and you know ISAs, basic science, basic research. The IITs and NITs provide they also provide the research background. Okay, but they focus on the applied research. While 
ISERs focus on the basic research like physics, chemistry, maths, bio. You won't be find you know very modern subjects here. So they are meant for you know adding up the knowledge to develop a you know base to add knowledge in the already existing knowledge of the basic sciences. Okay. So um, as I have already said, ki ISERs are not for the placements, but it is not like that. Okay. It like it. implicitly doesn't say that isers do not provide placements at all if there are 100 students in your batch so they are like nobody will get the placement not a single student so it is not like that now not exactly so the isers do not provide placement but see this there are other scopes as well but the placement like uh, placements in data science engineering and uh, electrical engineering computer science they do provide placements in this areas okay they also provide the placements basic sciences but their rate is quite low it's it's very low compared to the engineer okay we are comparing it with the engineer the placements are mostly in the field like this fields data science electrical engineering and computer science however not all the ijs offer these courses okay for example ijs of bhopal does Okay, either Bhopal offer these courses in their data science, electrical engineering, computer science, but not other ISERs. Okay, so there is scope of uh, placement in these areas, but not all the ISERs provide courses in this area. Okay, so the ultimate goal of the ISERs is higher education and research. If ISERs were to focus heavily on the placement, it would detract. it from their main objective okay if they start giving the placements right after your bsms you know their ultimate aim their main aim their objective of fostering the research in basic sciences will literally collapse okay so if you want to earn money early either might not be the best fit for you okay so be clear about that but there is another side as well just because either stone focus on the placement doesn't mean that they don't offer any opportunity ISERs provide a rich environment for those who are passionate about the science and research. You get to work with some of the best minds in the field, access to the excellent research facilities, and the opportunities to contribute to significant scientific discoveries. So, moreover, the skills you develop at the ISERs, such as critical thinking, problem solving, and a deep understanding of the scientific principles, are highly valuable. and can open the doors to the various career paths okay including academia industry government research organization but this will take time okay this will definitely time uh, take time because the research is like tapasya okay so uh, as you know i i i mention it many times in my many videos that 80% of the people go for the phd why because isers have created their base they have opened the doors for their phd's okay they can you know they offer like very good opportunities in the foreign institutes as well okay india of course so uh, many students go for the phd and their further studies only okay in foreign india okay all these countries so in summary okay let's if you just uh, collect all the things if what i have said if your primary goal is to earn money early and to secure a job right after your graduation post graduation and basically after your bsms you might be better off looking at the engineering colleges okay iits and iits however if you are passionate about the scientific research and contributing to the body of the knowledge which is already being present then you are always welcome to the research institute okay so hope you have gained some clarity through this video thanks for watching this video and all the best for your future uh, goals okay so hope this video will help you somewhere to fix your aim and uh, to clarify your doubts if you find this video really helpful do give me a like share it with those students who had confusion things and subscribe to my channel to get the notifications you will find the telegram channel link in the description i will see you soon i won't be seeing soon in the next video till then take care of yourself keep learning and stay fabulous bye bye